Michael from CTW here, and today we're going to show you how to rate a spring on your CTW dyno. We get this question all the time, Just try to answer it in a nice video so everybody can get the answers. The way you do it is you take your clevises off and you put some spring perches on. Pretty simple to make. We make them here, we sell them. You can make them on your own. You can see you install them on the top and the bottom. Put your spring in, bring the perch down. Now some people might want to put some preload on it. Um, it's kind of up to you. Try to be consistent, try to do the same thing all the time. In my case, I can see the screen. I'm just going to try to give it a little bit of load so at least it has positive load. Tighten it. Make sure it's very snug. Nice and centered. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to zero the force. Well, the nice thing is, is we know we're on a two inch stroke, or if you have a metric crank, you're on a 50 millimeter stroke. So that's all fixed. We're gonna start a little test. What we've done is create a very slow speed test. Uh, one speed, one inch per second. We're only gonna run two cycles. As you know, in the CTW software, you can choose how many cycles to run. I haven't run any cycles to get up to speed. Run two cycles, pick the second cycle. Now, go ahead and once everything's in, you got your load zero. Execute, nice and simple. It's gonna run nice and slow. We shouldn't get any uh, other effects involved like hysteresis of the spring. We're not running too fast. We're not overspeeding the crank. We're just gonna to try to get a good force reading on this spring, on all your springs, so you can go ahead and have a, a simple measurement uh, using your dyno. When it's all done, give it a nice name. Hopefully you serialize all your springs so you can keep them uh, separate from other ones. You can see your test data, you got your spring. If you force first displacement, so we know our displacement's two inches. We know this is starting at zero and our peak velocity is 649 pounds. Now the other thing we know is when we do our measure stroke, we have our stroke in the configuration. Now you could simply just use two inches but in this case, I know exactly it's 2.004. Now come up with a simple calculator. 649 divided by 2.004. And there you have a spring rate. You can write that on the spring. You can keep it in the file. 223.8, might as well just say 200, 324 pounds per inch. Now the nice thing is you have it saved. You run your other springs and you will be able to compare them on the force first displacement graph to see if the rate is all linear, if uh, one of them becomes uh, progressive or even uh, digressive at times. But that's the way you do it. Thank you.